Hey guys, how's it going? Good teacher. Hey, how good evening. This is Alejandro good Narbona. Evening. Thank you very much for being here. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Well, um, I want to talk to you about that. I'm not feeling very well right now. And I look terrible. So that's, <laughs> that's the reason why you will not see me tonight. You will just see the logo of the company. But uh, regardless on how I feel, I'm going to give you the best of my best. Okay? Uh, okay. The so quality is not going to be affected. And uh, you're going to be very happy because you will not see my face today. <laughs> okay. Right? Very good. So, guys, um, let's go ahead and review what we covered yesterday. Right? Um, who remembers what was yesterday's topic? Just yesterday, uh, we... We, we we watch the video uh, referring of cycling in Quebec. Okay, right. Uh -huh. That's right. Um, different opinion uh, that uh, that um, what should what should I uh, we do mm -hmm. with with this with this um, uh, with 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 cycling. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what we what we covered yesterday. And what we are going to do today is that we are going to practice a little bit more as far as the grammar topic. Now, do you guys remember what was the grammar topic covered yesterday? Um, yesterday we were talking about using or giving a recommendation with modals plus B plus past infinity. Okay, that's right. That's and, right. Uh, was it difficult to you? Do you find it a little bit difficult? Yeah, I found uh, difficult to relate it to the subject mm -hmm. and the model. All right, understood. So the reason why I'm, I'm asking you these guys is because Today, we're going to be practicing a little bit about it. I felt that yesterday it wasn't completely clear. So today, we're going to work on it on the first part of the class. And the second part is going to be the introduction of what we're going to do tomorrow and Thursday. Okay? So, something that I want to mention is that we're going to be sharing, for example. Give me just a second. gonna open it here and I'm gonna show this what are the phrases that you remember from yesterday's class guys um, commute uh -huh. commute um, uh, let's see bikes all right, but that's vocabulary. Cyclist, um, um, cyclist should be required to should to be wear, required. Should be mm -hmm. shouldn't be allowed. Uh -huh. Should so, be shouldn't be got to. Let's go ahead and work a little bit. with should be required when you should think this is a good idea. Now, I think that having your camera on should be required because I get to know you a little bit more. Right? Yes, I know I don't have my camera today and I will not have my camera on today because I look like, you know, I look bad and I don't want to show you that side of me. But tell me the things that should be required. What do you think is required to, to be a good student or a, what a good academy should have? A uh, good academy should have to begin a good, excellent computer system. Uh -huh. uh, the, the teachers should be bilingual. Okay, teachers should be required. Should be, should be required to be bilingual nice. in order to, you know, to teach. Um, 
uh, students should be should be taught should be, should does it work does it work yeah, should be but, taught to to learn how to use a computer system not just facebook and whatsapp uh-huh so in that case a student should be required to know mm -hmm. about computer system about, about computer computers. science the basics. Uh -huh, computer science basis uh -huh. um and i think in my humble opinion el salvador must have a eight hour schedule so students can learn a little bit more uh -huh. in class i mean you know like a schedule to be in class for eight hours or seven hours okay instead of like five hours or what do we do right now like we have a.m and p.m it should be one one whole thing one whole one whole cycle how do you say that yeah a whole cycle a whole cycle or, or a, or a schedule cycle. Mm -hmm. a complete cycle yes All right. so students should have more time to practice and should spend more time at the school got mm -hmm. it so let's go ahead and use this one as tomas is mentioning like should be required we're gonna keep it like that now shouldn't be allowed and here is where we're going to use it a little bit. Let's talk about Salvadorians, right? That we do whatever we want, even though it goes against the law. And we are disrespectful. We throw trash. We mistreat people and animals, etc. So let's talk about what people in, in El Salvador shouldn't be allowed to do. I'm going to start. People, students, be allowed to throw trash in the street. In my opinion, what else? Shouldn't be allowed to mistreat animals. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Or shouldn't be allowed to have dogs if they don't take care of them. There yes. you go, Good. people. Uh -huh. Shouldn't be shouldn't allowed, be allowed to, to have dogs. Mm -hmm. People shouldn't be allowed to have pets in general. Pets in general, yep. If they can take care of them. Exactly. Okay, what else? Uh, Kids underage shouldn't be allowed to get married until they turn 21. Okay. Kids <laughs> well, underage. Yeah. Underage. Uh, I understood the, the idea. <laughs> shouldn't be allowed to get married or to mm -hmm. drink. Or drink, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. They shouldn't, yeah. but they do. No. Right, they do. Mm -hmm. Pet owner shouldn't be allowed huh? to go to walk dog without a leash. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the example we have right there. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk their pets without a leash. Nice. What else okay. should Salvadorians be allowed? Um, Salvadorians shouldn't be allowed to walk in public if they are sick. Nice. People? Should... I haven't shouldn't be allowed to walk in public on public mm -hmm. shouldn't be allowed to walk to go out actually to go out oh, to go out right if they are sick all right so this one we are talking about um no deberían de ser permitidos tal cosa now out to be required is like should be required out to and should is going to be in the same category so we're gonna leave it as it is, okay? Same meaning. Now let's go ahead and work with the. Um, what do you think is absol absolutely necessary? What uh, do you think is absolutely necessary in this country using must? Several. Um, um, mass or mustn't? Can we use mustn't too? In this case, yeah, you can. 
And because I thought that people mustn't be allowed to drive over 70 miles per hour. This is an opinion, you know. Okay, people mustn't, mustn't be, a, mm -hmm. be allowed to drive over 70 miles, per, let's say 90 miles per hour. Or, yeah, too fast. Okay, mm -hmm. miles, Close. but My, miles is not the same as kilometers. Well, let's say kilometers then. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know how much is a mile? 1.5, I think. 1.4. 1. 1.6 okay. kilometers. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. People mustn't be allowed to drive over 70 miles per hour. All right. What else do you think that people in El Salvador shouldn't be allowed? Uh, people shouldn't be allowed to drink and drive. Nice. People shouldn't be allowed to drink and drive. Uh, shouldn't or mustn't? Mustn't be allowed. Mm -hmm. Mustn't be allowed to drink and drive because it's dangerous. Correct. For society and for themselves. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sample laws, laws must be passed to control the noise from with the light off. <laughs> Let me see. To confront the noise. Mm -hmm. with, uh, with the light off. Conf but I'm not really following up with the structure. To control. Uh, light off. I'm they, not... use, they use car. Okay. That must be passed to control the noise from car, the light off. No, I'm not, I'm not really yeah. getting the idea, Julio. My apologies. Uh, say it in Spanish okay. so I can help you. Okay. Ah, okay. Good. How would you say that, guys? Let's go ahead and help each other. People shouldn't be allowed to drive with the lights off. Uh huh. People mustn't be allowed, mustn't be allowed to, to drive, drive with the lights off. Exactly. So far, do you have any question of the of the phrases we are using? Uh, or the other on the other example, uh -huh. people mustn't be permitted to park motorcycle on the sidewalk. I agree. Yeah, good point. Yeah, mm -hmm, I agree. And there's actually a law about that. You cannot have cars or motorcycles. Very good blocking the sidewalk but people don't care about it all right next one has to be made what do you think it is debe ser hecha debe ser hecha or this has to be made has to be made uh-huh has to be made allow allow has to be made um a law has to be made so people. Hang. Okay, give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, come on, give it a try. Okay, a law has to be made uh -huh. so people. Oh, yeah, a, has to be... a law has to be made so we can avoid get the COVID, get, get the disease right now. Getting good, good. I like yeah. the example, Thomas. A law here, a law has to be made for people, and this is the compliment for people to avoid getting sick, getting sick, or getting COVID. Getting avoid COVID. is a verb that is always going to be followed by gerund, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. avoid. Drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. Avoid uh, smoking in a restaurant. Avoid getting to avoid. work late. So every single time that you use avoid and it's 
well, you can't see me, but anyways. And it's a uh, loud, loud whistle while uh -huh. you're driving. Say it again. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, whistle, uh, loud whistle when, when we are driving. To honk. Honk, okay, honk. Louder. To honk, uh -huh. to honk in front of hospitals or something? Honging, honging. Uh, in, honging. Uh, next to the hospital or next, or, or next to, the, to the neighborhood. <laughs> okay, that's right, I completely agree. So this is what we're gonna do right now. Um, what I wanted to do is for you to be able to express your ideas using these things. All right, we're gonna have some minutes and try to use your own life. For example, um, guys, I feel a little bit sick today and this is the reason why I don't have the camera on because I look terrible. But it's not COVID or anything like that. I have sinusitis and I was doing something and I don't know, I don't know if it's because of the dust, but my head is about to explode. So would Sahara. you mind giving me the Sahara dust? That's right. Would Sahara you mind dust. giving me some recommendations or or using these phrases to tell me something? I think that you should uh, took ibuprofen. Okay. In order to help with your uh, ah, but how uh, do we how do we use it with this? That's a good recommendation. You <laughs> should take a you should you should make a tea with lemon and a tequila. <laughs> <laughs> no lemon tequila <laughs> ginger lemon. ginger and lemon honey yes. And drink it before uh -huh. going to bed. Yeah, warm. Okay. And let it, yeah, heat it up and let it boil for about five minutes and then pull it down and then you let it, um, como se dice? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Let it, uh, hot, cold. let it get a little bit colder. So when All it's right. warm, you can drink it, yeah. But how do we use this structure in particular? It's right if I say, um, you must be checked or seen by a doctor or for a doctor. There you go, now we're talking. So you must be seen by a doctor. Yeah, okay. You, good, so we can apply this structure. You must be seen by a doctor, like that you one. Should, you should have gone to the doctor today earlier on today. Mm. Mm. You must be laid down. You must lay down, yes, too. Yes, yes true. You, you must lay down. Lay down. And you should take a nap. <laughs> and what about the structure? We gotta follow the structure. You must be drinking, you must be taking. Mm -hmm. Taking a nap. You shouldn't you, you, be. You, you shouldn't nap. be teaching classes today. You should be. You should have a day off. <laughs> nah, that doesn't work for me. I'm <laughs> not in this <laughs> industry. <laughs> okay, but I know it's a little bit difficult, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about traffic. What are your Tra recommendations with traffic? So we can always use the same subject. I have something else with something has to be done. It's a something has got to be done so our president do his job without too many people against him. There you go. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what else? Hmm. Yeah. I've got something, but it's too much. Um, um, sure, I have a question. Mm -hmm. In the case of um, the last example, something has got to be done. Mm -hmm. um, we have to use us and God together. Yes. It's supposed to that we use that. In this case, um, normally we use it with... 
how can I say? It's pretty much the same thing or has to be, has got to be. It's pretty uh, much the okay. same, different ways of saying it. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Just different ways of saying things. Now, do we always have to use the verb be? Yes. And it's going to be followed by a verb in the past participle. Okay. So this is, this is why it's a little bit difficult to be done. Now, for example, if um, I'm talking about a problem between bikers and car drivers. I can say bikers mustn't be permitted to drive between the lanes. Mm -hmm. Between, the, so, between the lanes. Between the lanes. Vamos a ocupar yeah. un poquito okay. de, de, de español. Aquí el tip, guys, es que ustedes están diciendo, um, por ejemplo, los motociclistas no deberían ser permitidos o no tienen que ser permitidos. Ahí es donde viene la estructura. All right. So, digamos que el problema es el tráfico. Digamos, um, a recommendation for traffic is that people should be should be allowed or should be how can I say this? People should be allowed to use public transportation in a safe manner. La gente debería ser permitida de ocupar el transporte público de una manera segura. And we, we wouldn't have so many cars, right? So I don't know if you're following up with the structure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, for example, a rule or a law has to be made to reduce the traffic jam. There you go. A law has to be made, made uh -huh, to, reduce to reduce traffic jam. Traffic jam. That's right. Good. So I know it's not easy because we normally don't use this structure. Whenever we are reaching this level, uh, things are going to be, how can I say, we're going to be using things to sound better, but not things that are like 100% of the time used. Yeah. Right? Things better, but not common. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. You're going to sound better. Your English is going to um, improve but not necessarily you will use it every single day. Yeah. Got it? Okay. All right. So this is on your chat. This is on the WhatsApp that uh, message that I sent you yesterday. I wanted to try and use it and put it in practice. Clear on that? Yeah. And you're going to be choosing the topics. What about racism? Racism. racism. All right. What about traffic? What about... This fight pollution have with the with the with the president. What about pollution? And then you give either your recommendation or what you think is absolutely necessary to fix it. So we have to give recommendations using mm -hmm. the structure. Exactly. Buzz, right. buzzes mustn't be permitted to transit without taking care of the car fumes. Buses mustn't be permitted to transit without taking care of the car fumes. Los buses, los, los buses, <laughs> los buses no deberían de ser permitidos circular si no se encargan del humo que, que despiden. Car fumes son, es como el humo de los vehículos. All right. Right? All right. Let's give it a try. I know it might not be easy at the beginning, but... Practice makes perfect, guys. So let's go ahead and accept the invite. Let me just go ahead and create the rooms. Sure. There's not many people today, so I'm going to try to create like one or two rooms. Here it is. Now, some of you are reporting issues. Algunos de ustedes están reportando problemas with the audio. So in that it's case... It's raining. Yeah, same here. It's raining over here. That right, must be here. the problem. He's raining too. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's join, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's join. We have to move.
。はい。All right, so we are not, we are just missing William and Sulamita. Got it. Let's go ahead and visit them. For oh. any topic. For, for any topics, okay. Yes, we have to choose a topic. I say a pollution. Okay. Or do you have another topic? No, it's right. Pollution is right. I, I, I'm aware. Pollution. Yeah. In this case, okay. it's going to be it's okay. okay. It's going to okay. be okay. It's okay. Because if you say it's right, it's como es correcto. But you know. Mm. Okay. Is it it's okay? okay. It's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. Go ahead. I'm agree. I think a trash must be avoided on the streets. Mm -hmm. There is a recommendation. Okay. And you? Agree. Your turn. Let me see. Um, the, I, I think the, uh, this. Uh, the schools should be required to to uh, to make a program of re, what 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 do you say reforestation 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 yeah reforestation okay uh, um, uh, it's, uh, okay uh, I go again. Mm -hmm. uh, schools should be required to make a program of restoration for for uh, for a, for a subject mm -hmm. or any subject right. for a and subject. You, David. But is that related to pollution? In my case, that must be required to make machines. Because they always create the smog. In my case, mm -hmm. I think all cars uh, must be avoided because they produce a lot of perfume. Car, car fumes. Car fumes. Mm -hmm. They produce a lot of perfume. Okay, good. Continue, guys. Let me join another group, see how they are doing. Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, Go ahead. Hey Francisco, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you for joining us. I just sent you an invite so you can join a group, all right? Did you receive it? Well, I think he did. So let me go ahead and join the, the, the room. For doing that at the moment, they should wait until this thing happens, this thing ends. After this, they're going to have time, plenty of time to start arguing, to start, to start saying things to each other because they're going to fight for, to get a position, you know? And in my humble opinion, again, I think they should wait the right moment when they go and como se dice, cuando van ya and when they are running how when they are running for their position mm -hmm. so they shouldn't be uh, having that, those issues right now they, they should let the president do his job and the president shouldn't be required to ask permission to make his decisions because all he's doing is the, for the best of our nation so I think politicians need to be should be must be together and work together for one goal and that goal would be the nation because because of us they are where they are so in order to go back again and get their power again they must protect the nation they must protect our youth you okay know, because and that one that one you're doing great thomas great as far as the fluency and and everything but just make sure that you try to use the um the structure okay for example uh, politicians must be agreed in everything they are doing for the country yeah so, give an idea 
And yeah, like uh, they shouldn't, politicians shouldn't be having too much disagreement against the community's rights, you know? And okay, so. um, en esta, vamos a hacer una pausa aquí. Acuérdense que por la estructura que estamos utilizando, vamos a usar mm -hmm. should be, shouldn't be, y luego tiene que ir en ED. Okay. okay. Por la estructura. Like I said before, we might not use it like a lot. Quizá no lo, no lo ocupemos mucho. Sin embargo, este, pues, se ocupa. Right? Mm. So, just pay attention to that little detail. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example... Go ahead. Teacher, for example, Salvadorian mustn't be permitted to go out yet. Yes. Nice. Good. Yes, excellent. And uh, while you while you improve, you can use the same examples with the same verbs. And Salvadorian must be required to wear a mask when they go out. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it's for protection. Correct. And, uh, and now we're talking. And we mustn't be allowed to do mm -hmm. what, what whatever we want to do because we are following the rules and uh, we should. There must be a law that allows. Uh, I'll, um, can you hear me now? Go yes, ahead. we can. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, continue. See? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. A rule has to be made huh? to require us to follow, to, to be followed, so we can stay at home and only go out whenever we need something and when it's only for emergencies. So okay. we can, so we can bring that. How do you say down? La, la, what's I say? Reduce or flatten the curve. Aplanar la uh -huh. curve. Flatten uh -huh. the curve. Flatten All the right. curve. So in this case, guys, uh, you're doing great, but I need everybody to participate, everybody to contribute, and to talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, give me a second. Yeah. I cannot open another room. I have plenty of people in this room. I got five. So just make sure that everybody talks, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Continue, guys. So we should wash our hands in every opportunity we have, and mm -hmm. uh, doesn't get, doesn't going out if 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 it's not really necessary. So and also doesn't go to places that are with agglomerations of people. So I think that these are our my recommendations, and doesn't uh, do not visit people that is not of your nuclear family, the one you live. I think that this is my, these are my recommendations. Yeah, that's true. The idea is to avoid the crowd. All right, and uh, good. That was Sulamita, right? Why? That was Sulamita, right? Giving yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Okay, great job as far as the fluency and the ideas. Uh, just remember that, um, well, I'm going to help you with this crowded places what what do you say sorry crowded places like people, ah, okay. uh, places full of crowded people places. Mm -hmm. those are crowded places and uh, i would recommend you to always use the structure of the images i sent of the image okay. i sent for example um uh, people shouldn't be allowed people shouldn't be allowed to go out without wearing a mask People shouldn't be allowed to gather. To gather is like to to get together. People shouldn't be allowed to get together anywhere. Right? So try to use the same uh, examples. 
as a structure. But continue because you were doing great. I just need you. Okay, okay. teacher could be, um, we were talking about COVID-19, right? Some recommendation about that. Um, it's right if I say social distance should be or must be practiced everywhere. Yes, there you go. Exactly. That's the way it is. Because uh, okay. mm -hmm. I, I, I'm using the structure that models plus B plus past participle. Uh -huh. So social distance must be practiced everywhere. There you go. Exactly. Let's work on the structure. And then if you want, you can change a couple of things. Uh, okay. okay. People mustn't be permitted to visit public places. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. Okay. Now, my opinion is uh, to stay positive in mind and follow the recommendation of the Ministry of Health. All right, that's a good opinion, uh, Julio. But how okay. do we give that opinion using the structure? How do we give that, that opinion, but using the structure we are working with? Mm -hmm. Like people shouldn't be, people shouldn't be allowed to get depressed, you know. Um, relatives should help each other, and that's when you need help from your friends and family. I don't know, to give you an idea. But trying to adapt your ideas to the structure is what I wanted to try and do. Okay. Help each other out. Mm -hmm. People should be allowed to use a, a recommendation Medicaid. Recommendation Medicaid. Um, well, um, what did you say? The first thing you said, what, what it was. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing you said? Your, right. your first recommendation. Not, let's continue. Let's continue with more examples. Okay. And you can have other other topics too, not just COVID nineteen. Yeah. Uh, okay. we should talk about we should talk about other things. I, don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, there was an earthquake today in Mexico. I don't know if you saw the news. Where in Mexico? Yeah, there was an earthquake in Mexico today. Wow! I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. All right. Let's keep on going, guys. Change the topic, but always try to use the structure. Okay, so Um, uh, another suggestion, guys. Mm. Uh, Recycle. I think companies must be required to avoid the smoke because some companies produce a lot of smoke and pollute the air that we breathe. Your turn. Yeah, that's good. That's a good example. Um, I think we need to change the, the topic. 
All right. We I, can I, waste, another... I, I waste my I waste my my ideas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't you... have idea. <laughs> you can talk what about topic, whatever you, you like. But my... Try to apply the grammar topic, but the the, the the point, the topic to talk about, the theme can be whatever you want. All right. Okay. Do you have topic. some any topic in mind? Do you think about um, uh, no political no, no political um, about to avoid the spread of the COVID nineteen? Okay, it's a good. I yeah, I shouldn't be hating grammar because that's helping me a lot. But I must practice it. <laughs> I must I, read. I, I must hate, read. I hate grandma too because I think the grandma, the grandma, uh, sometimes I can't think in English because I'm thinking in grandma. <laughs> exactly. And that basically makes a uh, uh, difference. So, yeah, it's difficult. But, yeah. Yes. So, so what would about you say, Eneida? Would you say uh, that about grammar? I, yeah. I think that the older people uh, must be study study English, uh, watching TV, uh, listen to music. Uh, it's very important because uh, the people will have uh, more fluency grammar. Uh, it is very important for uh, for that uh, to will have a, will have a, a a good job. The job yeah. is required uh, the English. Exactly. The company. Yeah. The company. Uh, what do you say? Exigen. Um. The company require. must 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 be required uh, mm -hmm. English. Is the obligation? Transnational company requires uh, the English is very important. Eighty percent. In my case, mm -hmm. I in this one, I need to write mails in English mm -hmm. because I I have many companies. I I am a distribu di distributor. Distribu distributor. Distributor, 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 distributor for reagents and machines for hospitals. The the company I, I work on with the company is uh, uh, United Kings uh, okay. from Vancouver, Canada. I I I I need to write mails in English. Mm -hmm. So this Good. is why this topic is a little bit important because your idea is great, Eneida. Uh, companies should require English, but this is like we are using passive voice. That means that you're gonna say it backwards. English. Teacher, I have a problem required. with the audio because raining in my house. <laughs> okay, can you hear me a little bit better now? Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, what I was mentioning is that you're gonna say English should be required. Should be required. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should, should be, required be required for That's since, right. since first grade. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. el inglés debería ser enseñado en las escuelas. English should, should, be be taught. Taught. should be taught. So, el tip so, aquí, guys, es que ustedes le den vuelta. Mm -hmm. Ya no es las escuelas deberían de enseñar inglés, sino que es el inglés debería ser enseñado. Es prácticamente okay, passive voice. No es lo mismo decir, um, quiero ver, Francisco escribe un libro que el libro fue escrito por Francisco. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Es prácticamente lo mismo que estamos ocupando acá. Mm -hmm. But you're doing great. Continue, guys. And, and let's talk about children in class. When they are in English class, children mustn't be allowed to speak Spanish, you know, while they are learning. And mm -hmm. teachers shouldn't be allowed to translate documents for students. Uh, and they shouldn't have preference. 
from one student to another. So, and the teachers should, should have taught English since first grade. So right now, we wouldn't be having these troubles with grammar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Another problem is uh, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. I think that is a, a good idea. The teacher must be teach in English uh, all the class. Yes. Mathematics, science, science. Uh, language, mm -hmm. another class in English. Uh, the the child speaks more fluency. More fluent. Yeah, more because math. Let's go math. ahead and, and switch it. What? All classes. All classes should be taught, should be taught in, in English. English. Mm -hmm. So remember, you're going to switch it a little bit. Math Everybody should be taught in English. Mm -hmm. it, it's the same thing. You know? mm -hmm. And children should, shouldn't be allowed to speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. Hi. Anyone home? Yeah. We're back. Hi. We're back. So I, want to I am please, back home. I want to please show me some recommendations or opinions you have. Of the ones uh, you okay. Teachers should have taught English from since first grade. And math should have taught in English so students can practice. That's right. Math should have taught in English so students can practice. Correct. All right. I should have practiced my grammar while I had a chance, but because now I'm having troubles again. Yes, but again, that's <laughs> going to be an active sentence. We got to work okay. in, 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 in passive. So, so my grammar, have... my grammar should have improved should have already. Improved yeah. already. Um, we were talking about pollution, mm -hmm. and some of the examples we have is people must be required to throw the garbage in the right place. Right. In order to avoid the contamination on the streets. Mm -hmm. Excellent example. Um, we talk about COVID-19 mm -hmm. and COVID about pets. pets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> talk to me about the example. Tell me the example. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <I don't remember. laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, uh, we're talking about uh, pollution too, mm -hmm. and uh, and on, uh, a recommendation that we mentioned it is uh, uh, programs uh, programs of reforestations mm -hmm. should be created in the school in order to allow pollution. There you go, excellent, great. I liked it. Yeah, um, teacher, we were talking about COVID-19, mm -hmm. and one of the things we um, talked about was uh, people must be permitted to visit crowded places. To visit crowded places. Visit crowded places. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Or like social it. distance uh, mm -hmm. must we got be it. practiced everywhere. I'm sorry, social distance? Must be practiced everywhere. There you go. Social distance must be practiced everywhere. Like it. Yep. Nice. Any other example you guys want to share? Mm -hmm. What else you got? The president must be declared a national emergency because uh, all the hospital is uh, are full. <laughs> nice. All the hospitals are full. Great, Anaida. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Sure. Mm -hmm. May I? Yeah, go ahead. 
É, por mim, é, da voz, o voz, tu, tu via a voz, tu voz, da voz, guarda. Ok, um, say it again, please. Start, start all over, please. I'm having issues hearing you. Ok, vos, chule, chule, be alone, mm -hmm. to, go, to go work, mm -hmm. if no, if no avoid, uh, the, 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 the level, the level, si no se ha permitido el, la etapa. Mm, ok, so, buses, estás hablando de jefes? Ajá, uh -huh. buses, shouldn't, shouldn't uh -huh. be allowed to go buses, to work. Buses, buses, oh, buses shouldn't be allowed to go to work. Ahí vamos muy bien. Until the stages are adequate, perhaps. Hasta que los, las etapas sean adecuadas. Until the stages are adequate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But yes, I like it. Buses shouldn't be allowed to go to work. You got this. Great, Irene. Okay, so as I was mentioning before, guys, to some of you, this is a little bit difficult. To some of you, it's not. So some of you hate grammar. Grammar hates some of you. No, I'm kidding. That's yeah. not even possible. <laughs> so the thing, the thing is this. If you want to improve, you got to practice and face it. Don't run away from grammar because, unfortunately, we are not in the United States that we can practice every single day and the, the language surrounds us. Here, we have to learn it by exposing ourselves to the language, right? Por darnos yeah. en la frente, over and over again. So guys, practice makes perfect. I really hope that you can be here tomorrow. We just have two more days. Two more days. We finish the module, all right? Here, teacher, um, mm -hmm. you have a, a correo, a email. Mm -hmm. Please, check me. Give me. Really? You have an email. Do you yeah. have an email? Yeah. Okay. What was the email about? Uh, he wants. He wants to know your email. He wants. Maybe he wants to send you some information. Also, you want to know my email address. I think. Julio? That's he wants. Okay. Julio? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to know my email address? Uh, I write in your chat. Okay, good. So text me personally and I'll be glad to help you. I have a question. Go ahead, Douglas. Do we always have this week to finish the platform? Yes. The yes, you do have this week to finish the, the, the platform. So let's go ahead and... Okay, my, my email is uh, Julio R. Sequeira arroba gmail.com Okay, um, okay, teacher, teacher, I have a... Julio. Um, okay, I'm... Um, hágame I favor, Julio. Escríbame, escríbame personalmente, porque la conexión está bastante mala y la verdad no, no, no puedo entender exactamente cómo le puedo ayudar. Entonces, okay. Yo ahorita en el grupo voy a poner, este es mi número, para que usted sepa bien quién soy y me, me puede escribir por WhatsApp. Okay? okay. Teacher, I never been in that group. Todavía no, okay. <laughs> I've never, I, um, all the, all the, all the class, no, I, I never been in class. I guess Okay, yeah. Uh, I already, I already you recorded. That you talk about platform and um, homework. All right, okay. yeah. Hey, after, right, after the class finished uh, this level, so uh, what we're going to do after? Francisco, I'm Romero. sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Le estoy escribiendo yeah. en su chat privado mi número de teléfono. Escríbame ahí ahorita después de la clase para poderlo ver mejor. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Okay. So, thank you very much for practicing. We're going to be covering tag yeah. questions. Tag questions is going to be our next topic. Go ahead and review it. And we'll is check it? it tomorrow. Is okay. it or isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. And uh, any question, yes, no. let me know on my personal chat. Take okay, care, guys. Fine. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. See you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. See you.